Welcome back. This is Mr. Erlen. Today we'll be talking about Try 12, the skill which asks us to distinguish the difference between congruent marks for angles and congruent marks for sides. So when I look at a triangle, for example, I want to be able to convey that a part of this triangle is congruent to a part of this triangle. If I want to speak about a side, for instance, this side here is the same as this side here, I expect to see a hash mark or a single mark that establishes this and this have the same size. Now, I could find that multiple hash marks are used on the same image, but if I want to indicate that this side and this side are the same, but this side is a different measure, I'm going to use a different number of hash marks. So I'll use two hash marks here, and then I might demonstrate that these two sides have the same measure that way. Similarly, if I'm looking for angles, I could do a similar idea except for angles, there's a little bit more variety. Instead of just making one mark here and one mark here, when I want to make multiple indications, often I'll use two marks. So I might make that kind of notation, kind of two rainbows. That shows that these angles are of the same measure. Or I could choose something that's kind of a hybrid system where it's got the rainbow arc to show I'm talking about the angle but then I can put a hash mark number to indicate that this one with three marks is the same as this one with three marks. That concludes our discussion of how we indicate congruent angles with rainbow looking marks on the angles or sides with straight hash marks or dashes matching a number.